When you get a judgment from someone, take it. Wipe it off, paint over the ugly parts, and recycle it to use to be a better version of yourself. It's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving. <laughs> Why do you care so much what people think of you? I mean, in The Matrix, it shows us that we live in a simulation, or, you know, Gen Z put it as the others are just NPCs. Or in other words, in Get Free by Lana Del Rey, she says, I'm not gonna sing it because I don't want your ears to bleed. I never really noticed that I had to decide to play someone's game or live my own life. So you are the NPC in someone else's game right now and it holds you back from living your own life. You are literally being held back from living the best version of your life because of fear. Fear of what others may think of you. What would you do if you weren't afraid to do anything you want? What path would you choose? If you were not judged by any people or supported by everyone, would you still live the same life as you do now? Would you still wish to live the same life as you do now? And choose the same choices that led you here? I know the answer, or otherwise you wouldn't be here when you saw the title of this video. <laughs> first things first, it's just about perspective. People only care about themselves, it's not about you at all. Maybe they talk behind your back, but when they get home, they think about themselves, how they showed themselves to people, how they presented themselves to people. Not have you made that mistake or said that stupid thing or how awfully you dressed. Maybe they will for 10 seconds and then they'll turn back to thinking about themselves again. So nothing you do has as much impact or effect on anyone's mind as you think. It's nothing but a perception game in your mind. Let's say you slipped and fell on the ground. So when you go home, you think to yourself, today everyone laughed at me because of that. I look so stupid in front of everyone. I can't face those people again. This is the number one scenario in your head or the worst case scenario. And you believe that it is true because everyone laughed at you. I mean, how couldn't it be true? But the voice in your head is not always you and it's not telling you the truth all the time. So you should also think about the other side of the coin as well. When you change the scenario from that into this, today was great even though that was hell of a slip. I get hurt a little, but it doesn't matter because even if it was by accident, I think I cheered up a lot of people who were having a bad day. This is the second scenario. It's the same situation, but now you are looking at it from a different point of view, so it doesn't hold the same power over you as it did before. If you can find yourself finding a new perspective, maybe even try to stand on a desk. Why do I stand up here? I stand upon my desk to remind myself that we must constantly look at things in a different way. The world looks very different from up here. Just when you think you know something, you have to look at it in another way. Even though it may seem silly or wrong, you must try. Dare to strike out and find new ground. And it may not even be about you or what you do at all. Sometimes people are just not in a good mood. So no matter how good what you did was, maybe the person you are talking to is feeling overwhelmed because of what they have experienced before talking to you. Maybe with someone or with some situation like getting stuck in oh, traffic that's who I or something am. it will affect their judgment on you or what you do everyone has their own storms inside of their minds not everyone every day is having a good day so don't take everything personally it may be about their shadow selves as Crowley and Puss said the shadow self is the part of the person this could be their personality, behavior, or their emotions and thoughts. The part of themselves that they refuse to accept, refuse to embrace. They don't like that part of themselves. They want to repress these unwanted aspects of themselves into the unconscious mind. It's the things they kept hidden from everyone and even from themselves. This forms the shadow self. And they don't even realize it because it is in their unconscious mind so they do it unconsciously and this shadow self in their unconscious mind arises through judgment so if they are judging you in some certain way and you'll be like what the flip so step back and just be conscious of the situation like they're not judging you they are actually judging their shadow self they recognize that unwanted part of themselves in you so they are projecting what they felt about it in themselves onto you Unconscious discomfort can lead people to attribute unacceptable feelings or impulses to someone else to avoid confronting them. 
Projection allows a difficult trait to be addressed without the individual fully recognizing it in themselves. So it has nothing to do with you. And the third one is fear. You always fear what they might think about the things you are insecure about. If you felt confident about a certain thing, you wouldn't be so worried about what they might think of your that side because you are so comfortable, you don't even care what they think of it. But when you are insecure or struggling with something, then you fear what their thoughts on that could be. Like if you are smart or beautiful or handsome or successful enough, you won't care about their judgment on those things. But if you're not feeling good enough, smart enough, capable enough, you'll worry about the idea that they might judge you about these insecurities of yours. You may improve yourself in those areas, but remind yourself that no one is perfect and you are enough even for trying to be a better version of yourself. And the fourth is control. Worry comes from trying to control what you can control. When you are so busy thinking about what they are saying about you or what they might be saying about you, you forget how to live because now you are not living your own life. You are living in their heads. You are giving away your power to them. You have no control over what they think about, but you can control what you think about. Just focus on what you can control. No one can make you feel a certain way except you. Don't allow other people's negative opinions to have control over you. It's not gonna be 100% that way. You'll keep paying attention to what they might be saying about you, but it is in your hands how much that can affect you. If it's not something positive or constructive, then you're just wasting your time and energy by worrying about what they might be thinking about you. And this way, you are just keeping yourself from being something useful in your own life. And eventually, you'll lose your authenticity. Just like Marcus Aurelius said it. Don't waste the rest of your time here worrying about other people unless it affects the common good. It will keep you from doing anything useful. You'll be too preoccupied with what so-and-so is doing and why and what they are saying and what they are thinking and what they are up to and all the other things that throw you off and keep you from focusing on your own mind. You are a prisoner to a version of you in their mind and the more you care about what others may think of you, the more they own you, the more they have control over you. If you're not brave enough to betray their opinions of you or their idea of you, then you will forever stay stuck in their minds. And also, there are literally millions of versions of you in everyone's head. So this way, you are literally betraying your own worth, your own potential, every million version of you. So as not to betray their opinions of you or their idea of you, you are literally betraying your own worth, your own potential. You don't give yourself the chance to be yourself or useful. If you always try to live up to their expectations of you, you will never be greater than what you are now. You will be like everyone else and lose your authenticity. And the last but not least, blend in if you want. If you always live for the approval of others to like you or what you do, you will never go beyond their expectations. You will always be average. You will always look for others' approval to feel content enough or worthy. Maybe you don't even like them, but you will wait for them to like you or what you do all the time. It will be safer and more secure to live in that prison, but it will cost living your own life. They don't want you to be greater than what you are now. They want you to be normal. They want you to follow the herd. They want you to stay mediocre. Because if you conflict their opinions as you become more of yourself and more authentic, they will see you as a threat because it is something unknown to them or difficult for them to achieve. For them, you are just being the Lulu. You are just being silly. So just give up, blend in, be normal, be like them be mediocre, don't ever stand out. If you break free from those chains, then you will give yourself a chance to be the best version of yourself. And this cage is open, you can walk out anytime you like. By being you, you may not entirely change the conception of you in their minds, but you can influence it with your words, with your actions, with your being. And in the end, it's on them to decide what to think about you. You're not responsible for that. And people always judge you no matter what. So just be yourself and stop worrying about what you can control. It always ends on your side, how you take it. It's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving. <laughs> it's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. On the outside, there's nothing much changing your world. You are having those earthquakes in your mind and in your soul because of how you look at it. When you get a judgment from someone, take it. Wipe it off, paint over the ugly parts, and recycle it to use to be a better version of yourself. Get free.